Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're going to talk about the NCL Upgrade Advantage program. So there was a lot of questions about this on some of our previous videos, and we wanted to answer them for you, tell you what it's about, tell you how it works, and uh, whether or not it's something that you should do. So very quickly, the Upgrade Advantage program is a bid to upgrade program. And you more than likely before your cruise will be given an offer to bid to upgrade your cabin. And you might be thinking, of course I should do that. But we are going to walk you through whether you should, whether you shouldn't, and if it would be better for you and your cruise vacation or not. All of that coming right up. So I'll just talk a little bit more about what it is. So on NCL Cruises, you can bid to upgrade, which is called the Upgrade Advantage program, and it lets you maybe get an upgrade on your stateroom type to another one. So this will be based on stateroom availability, so we don't think all cruises will have this option. For our cruise, we had started with the lowest price sail away balcony, and that means that NCL will pick the room for you. So it's not a guaranteed room, so we didn't go in picking we want room 1521, but we were guaranteed a balcony room. However, it could have been obstructed, could have been under the buffet, under the pool, whatever. So as Linda said, we booked a sail away balcony uh, and well, that's what we were happy with. We figured that's okay. We're fine with them assigning our ship the way that they want. We did look at the ship, figure out where the rooms are, et cetera, et cetera. But we were good with them just assigning it to us. And then we got a email from upgradeadvantage at ncl.com. And this is from their program. And we got an invitation email about two months before we set sail, which invited us to bid for various stateroom classes. You can select the class types. Um, so they have different room types that you can bid for. So they have balconies, they have all the way up to the Haven suites. And they had, you know, maybe 15 different, uh, different stateroom types. You can then select the stateroom that you're interested in and it will give you a suggested minimum bid and it will give you a highest bid. So for instance, a Haven room might have a thousand dollar minimum bid on something like when we did the spa suites, they had like a hundred minimum, hundred dollar minimum suite and that is per person. So that means that if your minimum is a thousand dollars for the Haven, that is a thousand dollars for your room and a thousand dollars for others who are in that room. So we decided to bid on the spa, thermal spa rooms. And when we did that, there's sort of a indicator that's red, yellow, green. And you, you know, obviously if you pick the red, you have less of a chance. If you pick the green, you have a higher chance of being upgraded. And we didn't really, really, really didn't bother us which way we went here. So we just put $100 US in. So that would have been 200 for both of us. That was in the unlikely zone. That was the minimum we could have bid. Uh, and we assumed that we weren't going to get these. And we also assumed that this is based on availability and people with higher bids will be accepted first over people with lower bids. Then about two weeks before our sailing, we received an email that our bid was accepted and our rooms were changed. So just for transparency, we did email NCL about the upgrade program. We contacted their media relations group to try to get some more feedback and to go through some of the questions that we had uh, that you also had. Uh, to get the answers from them directly. They didn't get back to us and we will absolutely, if we get a response back from them, put their feedback or their comments in the description below uh, just so you can feel comfortable that this stuff came from NCL. All the stuff that we're talking about here is either things that we researched or things that we experienced. So we just want everyone to be aware of that. So a bit about the advantages if your bid is accepted. For us, you can get a nicer room um, and you are paying for it. So with the minimum bed for us, $100 each, 200 total, we had a room that was closer to the spa. So we weren't under the pool or under the buffet. We also then both had access to the spa every day um, for only an extra $100. So for us, that was a great opportunity to have that uh, upgrade and the upgraded experience for a cheaper price. So it would have cost us almost double that for the spa package. and we didn't have to pay that much for it. So that's really the only advantage is that you can get, you know, an upgraded experience without having to pay as much for it. So on to some of the disadvantages. And, you know, I think it's pretty clear what the advantages are. You get a better room. Uh, but there's some disadvantages to that and sometimes people aren't aware of them. So we really kind of wanted to go through and explain some of the disadvantages and be very specific about them. 
So your room will be automatically assigned. If you, you know, if you picked a guaranteed room in, you know, 1523 and you bid to upgrade, you no longer have that specific room. So what that means is if you want an accessible room, you're not guaranteed an accessible room. If you have an ocean view room, so a window and you move to balcony, you could potentially get an obstructed view or you could be under the pool deck or above the theater or in another area where you don't want to be. Also, remember that you do have to pay for this upgrade uh, and you will pay just before your cruise. So if you're budgeting, do remember that you're going to have to pay however amount um, that you, you know, you should be expecting because you bid for it. But you may not have to pay it if you don't. So if you're not budgeting properly, do be aware that that will come out of your account uh, just before you sail. Also, the special offers that you see online for different cabin classes will not be given to you in an upgrade scenario. So let's say you book like we did on a sail away room, uh, which basically came with no offers. However, a spa suite has unlimited drink package. You won't get that unlimited drink package when you upgrade. You'll only get the benefits that were assigned to you when you picked your cabin at the class that it was. So for instance, if you pick a class that had an unlimited drink package and you upgrade to the Haven, you will keep your unlimited drink package, but you won't get any of those offers that are upgraded in the Haven. Obviously you'll get everything that is in the Haven spa and all the, uh, the or in the Haven rooms and all the sort of, uh, you know, all the cool stuff you get there, but you won't get like the free flights that you might've gotten had you have booked that originally. So if you do want those uh, guaranteed, uh, guaranteed uh, offers, book a room with that class type so that you can get it. So for instance, if an ocean view has it, and a interior doesn't book the ocean view so you have those benefits and then try to upgrade from there. So do remember that if you had a guaranteed room and you do decide to bid to upgrade, you could be placed anywhere. So you could get a worse room than you were expecting even though it's a balcony. So if that is a concern for you, then I would suggest that you not do the upgrade. If that isn't a concern, for instance, when we were on our trip, we were fine with wherever they were going to put us anyways. We had booked the cheapest balcony room possible. And, you know, if we were going to be under the theater, we were going to be under the theater or above the theater. Um, so we were good with whatever upgrade we had. We also have some tips, though, on how you can sort of improve your chances of having a better room. We've talked a little bit about the thermal spa, uh, the thermal spa room that we booked here on our upgrade. If you are interested in that video and haven't seen it yet, we will add a link in the comments below. We'll also try to have a card come up on the screen above. Go ahead and check out that video if you're interested or think that's something you'd want to do. So some of our tips regarding Norwegian's upgrade advantage program, you'll want to make sure you check the floor plans of the ship that you will be on. For example, we sailed on the NCL breakaway and when we looked, there were really no obstructed view balconies on that ship. So we were pretty confident with the sail away non-guaranteed balcony class that regardless of what balcony we were given, it wasn't a huge obstruction, uh, obstructed view. So we were very fine with that. And then we knew with the upgrade, you know, we weren't losing a, a room that we had specifically picked with no obstructions and all that. And we also understood that when we bid, our new room could have been under the pool. It could be around a theater. Uh, and we were also fine with that. Uh, but you do want to be aware that, you, that that's where you could be placed. Uh, but we were on a more modern ship and we knew that they would have kept that in mind when they were designing it. We'd also have not been under a pool around the theater before. So we were also happy to try that so we could share with you guys if we actually noticed any noise, noise differences there. And another tip is once your stateroom is assigned and you and you were accepted with your upgrade, check to see where it's located on the floor plan so you know what you're getting into or what's around there. So two other tips. Many of the higher class rooms, like the spa rooms or the haven rooms, there really are no obstructed views on those things. And they're always in pretty good places on the ship. So it absolutely could be worthwhile to try to get the bid to upgrade and go ahead and upgrade to one of those spa rooms because they're all, always around the spa or the haven rooms which are always in great areas so check the classes because some of them are just going to be in good spots and you can always as linda said is the first tip check the floor plan see where those groups of rooms are and if it's worth you bidding so that's definitely something to look into and lastly there's no guarantee that your bid will be accepted so pick a stateroom class that works for you 
right? So you're not guaranteed, like if you don't want an inside room, don't book an inside room and hope you're gonna get an upgrade because you might not be able to bid for that upgrade. It is always significantly cheaper. I shouldn't say always, but it's almost always significantly cheaper than you will uh, be able to upgrade than it would be if you were to book it yourself just at the beginning. But don't pick a room class that you will not like and hope you get an upgrade. Pick something that you're comfortable with, pick something that fits your family, and then go from there, okay? Because we don't want to see people, you know, sort of ruin a vacation hoping that they're going to get an upgrade, and they might not. So we hope that this answered some of the questions that you had about the Norwegian Upgrade Advantage program. We know there'll be more questions, so please do leave that in the comments below, and we, we'll, we could look at making a follow-up video as well. But we do hope that you have found it helpful. If we do get more information from NCL, we'll be adding that in as well. Uh, you know, it might be a great opportunity for you, and we hope that this clarified that for you guys as well. So please do leave comments, hit that like, subscribe button. We really enjoy being a part of this community. So thanks so much for watching and happy travels. Bye.